Taylor, Taylor Phelan, and I, uh, I'm, I sing and I play some guitar. I met Taylor by, um, by working at a church together back in Texas, and we had initially met right before we started working together. Um, we met at Starbucks one day to, to do some music stuff with one another and talk about being in a band together. I think we might have been 16 at the time, 16, he was 16, I was just turning 17 or something, so it's a while back. So that's how, that's how I met Taylor, and then um, for the last three years or so, he's kind of been talking to me about moving from Texas up here to Chicago and joining the band. So finally, at the end of October, I quit my job and moved up here and slept on his floor for two months. We decided we were a band before we ever practiced together, had a practice space, before I had ever even met Kevin. And uh, upon finding a practice space and signing a lease and everything, that was the first time I met Kevin. <laughs> Kevin walks up to me, and the first words I remember him saying to me, hey, I'm glad you're not a little bitch like Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Good things. Which, honestly, were, was the same thought I had with him. <laughs> I met um, Taylor, actually, uh, at a church, and uh, we led worship together for a little while, and uh, played guitar for Taylor a couple of times for his solo stuff. Um, met Joey at the same church, and uh, met Kevin when he moved up from Texas. We booked the show, actually, before we had a name or before we even had a rehearsal and so um, we uh, we had like 24 hours to come up with a name before they started uh, you know publishing like promotional material for this show and so we just had to decide on one and we, we just picked the canes because it had been around the longest so <laughs> we kind of restructured and moved some things around and uh, started this this current lineup that we have and it just worked like from the beginning it worked and and i had i, I knew all the players and like you said i'm i'm the common denominator so i, I knew everybody was going to work i just knew it in my gut and it did and um we all get along and i and i really do think that that these guys are, are probably uh some of my some of my best friends i mean we, we've become really great friends and we click musically and we support each other and and so I, it's just it's it's more than I actually could have ever uh, dreamed up or thought of. I think the one thing that I hope people take away from McCain show is is just the amount of vibe that has happened. Like you have come and you've experienced um, you've experienced something that's larger than than just these four guys on a stage. It, it's a vibe. It's a movement. You know, and that's what we want you to feel. We want you to feel the roller coaster ride of our songs. You know, and um, really really anticipate the vibe and, and be a part of it. I put coming in some me I keep bed and do another heart attack with the stridents with the stridents I can't stand this feeling my sheet Trying to run from your love even when I'm sleeping Well, so I ate half the sky when I came around Well, you thought that I'd be better off with someone else Well, let me just be this for a while I'd say my musical influences um, are pretty, they're pretty 
I, they're pretty different for a rock and roll drummer. Um, I grew up um, in a full gospel church, and uh, so I, I learned how to play play drums uh, in, in a black church, essentially, and, um, and that's kind of where I got, that's where my roots are, my best friend, his name's Trent Brown, and uh, his mom and dad were worship leaders at a black full gospel church, and so they started throwing me behind the kit, and that's kind of my, that's kind of like my musical influence, and I listen to, a, obviously, a wide array of bands. They would probably have to be the edge. From YouTube? From YouTube. Oh. Or from YouTube. I'm sure he's on YouTube. Um, the Edge or Jimmy Page, because he was riff, revolutionary, I guess. Um, both great guitar players. My background is more metal side of music, um, which is great. I feel like I can take some of that and put it into this little fusion that we are starting with all our different musical backgrounds. I love the Killers. I love the Killers. Uh, I love I love Mute Math. And I don't know writing. I, I love the way that you know uh, Ryan Adams and Bob Dylan and uh, Tallest Man on Earth. The Tallest Man on Earth. I, I love their writing styles uh, lyrically. So those are probably my, my lyric influences. Everybody's scared that that there's somebody else that's playing unfair. Everybody's scared. We've never been so cold. So we avoid the fight with so many bombs and flight. Cause we realize. The Cupid is friends with the atomic bomb So we become lonely people With hardened hearts and a nose to the steeple Wishing someday We'll come pick us up on the chain And we've been tired for so long Prostituting ourselves Expecting something Somewhere else Let me speak for a while I'll do it every day Still the old place Oh, let me speak this for a while specific emotions um, from from the listener or um, from you know us as a band making it the songs that I usually write uh, are inspired by events that I um, I'm in personally uh, but they're sometimes I mean most of the time they're more they're more about myself than they are uh, the or they're more about the situation or like the idea of the situation more than they actually are like the individuals or specifically about like you know um the people involved you know what i mean usually usually it's like zoomed out you know um and it's more about like an introspective uh look at a situation or um uh you know, it's it's not it's usually like a a broader idea. It's not usually about like, uh, I don't know. It's much less it's much less about the people involved than it is the situation or myself. 
I don't want to be that guy who tries to sit here and makes it sound like a cool piece of rock and roll. We're just rock and roll. Mm-hmm. You know, if you think it's cool, thank you. But it's just rock and roll and we dig it. This is where I'd like everything to rest. Well, I'm excited to actually travel to tour, meet new people, um, write new music, um, get to hang out with, with the guys in the band, and uh, spend more time with my wife, not have to do schoolwork, um, not have to have a real job. Mm. Um, that Those are all, all good things. I mean, realistically, I, like, I would like to see us, um, obviously, at, at, a, at a higher level, like playing 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 to a larger audience um, you know expanding our sound developing maturing as musicians um, and hopefully that you know allows it to be expanded you know to other to other listeners uh, next year there's there's actually a lot in store already for 2013 so um, it's not it's not all solidified just yet so we we won't be announcing it till later this year but there, there's a lot there's a lot going on and um, the, the momentum just seems to be uh, growing and growing and and I I'm the pessimist I'm the one in the band who, who thinks that you know at some point it's gonna stop but it doesn't it doesn't seem that way and um, I hope that I keep uh, being proved wrong Yeah.